20 years ago, a mysterious epidemic broke out in the southwest region of the United States. In 1993, there was, a, among the healthy Native Americans that were living in the Four Corners region, a number of people uh, became sick with flu-like symptoms, and they, um, they died. Soon the disease would be known as hantavirus, and Texas Tech University would have a big part in helping to identify and understand it. Researchers discovered that the virus was found in deer mice, but knew little else. Dr. Robert Baker, a horn professor at Texas Tech, felt that some answers might lie in the tissue library of the Natural Science Research Laboratory, or the NSRL, at the university's museum. One thing Tech has specialized in is building up a huge a huge uh, genetic resources collection. The NSRL is a library of natural specimens for education and research purposes. The mammal collection is the eighth largest in the nation with samples from all continents in 107 countries. The frozen tissue collections that we have uh, at the Natural Science Research Lab uh, played a big role in um, uh, the hantavirus research. Tissue samples from Texas Tech showed that hantavirus was not new to the Four Corners region, but had been there all along. The deer mice carry it with them, but aren't affected by it. Humans got the virus by breathing in aerosolized particles from mouse droppings. Bradley and Baker agree that vigilance is key. Bradley said viruses are always evolving, so staying on top of them is very important. We just need to do a lot more work in finding out where, what is, and, and and where the viruses are and how they're carried. This is Lacey Nobles for Texas Tech Today.